Tonight, the governor signed two bills into law, and anti vaxxers are not happy about it. Yeah, that includes uh, moms who spent the day causing chaos inside the Capitol, leading to arrests. CBS 13 Shirin Rajay is live with what this new law means for parents. Shirin? Yeah, Adrian and Curtis, there were protesters all across here, outside the Capitol, inside the hallways by the chambers there today. And a lot of mothers were in tears when they found out that Governor Newsom had signed these bills into law. They tell me, though, that their fight is not over. Meanwhile, I spoke to Dr. Richard Pan, who authored these bills, who says that these new rules are necessary to keep our kids safe in schools. They chanted, banged on walls, shut down both chambers of the California legislature. Some protesters even chained themselves to a door, blocking an entrance to the state capitol. Shut it down! Shut it down! But despite their fight, two new laws restricting medical exemptions were passed by lawmakers and Governor Gavin Newsom on Monday. I'm very numb at what just happened today. Heidi Munoz Gleisner, one of the group's leaders, said her friend was one of the six activists arrested. Was she chaining herself to the entrance? Is that what happened? She was one of the mothers that was chained to the entrance, yes. This is a sad day when in a free country we have no freedoms over our own bodies. Monica Martinez is worried about her daughter Isabel, who she says suffers from seizures after getting vaccinated with the MMR shot. She says she is not going to comply with the new law. With this bill, she will not be exempt from more vaccines, which could compromise her health even more. The author of both bills, Senator and Pediatrician Dr. Richard Pan, says the bill was set to combat fake medical exemptions. But he tells parents, if you have an exemption now, it holds. We are not rejecting exemptions okay. out of hand, right? This is about oversight. So if you have a legitimate medical exemption, you have nothing to worry about. Senator Pan says the new rules come after rising medical exemption rates at more than 100 California schools and the measles outbreak break pose a real danger. When you send your kid to school, you need to know that the school is safe for your child. Meanwhile, for some mothers, the fight is not over. We're not going away. We're not done. Dr. Pan says there's just a lot of misinformation out there. If you have a medical exemption, even if you got one from a doctor who's been flagged for writing too many uh, exemptions, that doesn't necessarily mean that your exemption will be void unless that doctor was sanctioned by the medical board. So a lot more to come from this. Also, again, regarding those arrests, at least six people were arrested. Three we heard were released for being disruptive and not complying with police. Well, and the concern has been some parents and some doctors have been uh, abusing these exemptions. So we'll see what plays out from here. Correct. Sharon, thank you.